take as much money as you can. It was true two years ago. It is more true today than you can ever imagine. Um, look at what the long-term goal is. Is it growing your company or is it holding on to as much as you can? Um, 100% of nothing is nothing. 10% of a $100 million company is something. Take as much money as you can up front and think about the long-term goal. I'm watching companies now struggle and fail because they wanted to hold on to their companies and not dilute too much. Those companies are going to go out of business. Um, what you need to do is get as far as you can without the money first. Build a company, build some revenue so that you've got some leverage that when you're raising the money, you may not have to give up as much, but you need to put some leverage in place first. Valuation is still something that a lot of entrepreneurs and this is where I, I may sound a little more like an investor, where the entrepreneurs are not thinking clearly. I'm still talking to entrepreneurs, and they're not necessarily young and experienced. They are experienced entrepreneurs saying, well, I'm looking at a $15 million pre-revenue valuation, um, pre-money. That's ludicrous. You're not going to get it. Um, take a look at what, what really is out there and be realistic. Again, what's the long-term goal? If you're trying to get this company funded and you're trying to grow it, be realistic um, about the valuation. You know, th the pendulum has swung. Three and four years ago, the entrepreneur could call the shots and laugh all the way to the bank. It has swung the other way, and the investor standing back saying, oh, no, <laughs> I'm not going to be taken advantage of here. So it, it might be painful, but once you get the deal done, You've got some of the best advocates um, you can ever imagine on your side in, in these investors. Um.